Hello everyone, Mark here from LMP Studios. Hope you're having a great day. Look at what has arrived today. It's really early as well, it's like only just gone nine. A nice big package from these lovely chaps here. Kudos to them once again. Thank you to uh, Nick from them for a fantastic deal on all this gear. So yes, a nice large package has turned up. Let's take a look at what was inside it, shall we? Well, there you go, guys. That is what was inside that lovely large package outside. We have a PCIe expansion chassis from Sonnet. We have an SSL Maddy Extreme 128 channel Maddy card. An Antelope Audio microphone preamp 32 channel version. Lovely sounding Class A Pre. Another Orion 32 converter because they just sound amazing and well it works great with their other product just there and then on the floor there a studio live rack mixer because well why not if you're going to be spending a lot of money on stuff make sure you get all the things you need at once rather than multiple deliveries right i think then actually we'll start with that big one down there Let's see what it's like, shall we? Right, just opened up the box. Didn't want to show you cutting all the tape on camera because that's just boring. Right, here we go. What do you get inside the box? First of all, nice secondary box. Let's see what's in here, shall we? What do you get in here? Okay, so get a foreign power supply, that's really handy, not. It's alright though, it's going to be powered to a power strip, so that's all fine. Oh, that's nice, you get an Ethernet cable with it. Oh, that's great for doing the integration. Or the AVB, that's pretty neat. Oh, nice one, Bruce Ernest. Get the Wi-Fi dongle, it goes in the USB port to connect it to wireless. And you get a Firewire 800 to 800 cable as well. Brilliant. You can never have too many Firewire cables. By the looks of it. Nice big printed instruction manual. And how to register your software. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Right, let's have a look at what's in the rest of the box, shall we? Well, I decided to lift this part out of the box off camera because, as it turns out, it was quite tight inside that box there. But it's very well packaged, as you can see, all this rather shock-resistant foam packaging and all nicely plastic wrapped as well. Very nice. It's quite heavy as well. You know, hopefully that means it's good quality. You know, they haven't just put you know a brick inside it, but. Let's get it out of all this wrapping, shall we? And uh, I'll give you a closer look at it. Right, it's out of the packaging now. You can see it got a nice moisture retarder in with it. Always good to see when a manufacturer puts those in. Shows they take pride in their goods. So, what do we have here? PreSonus Studio Live RM32AI. So basically you've got 32 X Max mic pre's, class A, all across the front, and then by the looks of it as well you get 16 universally assignable outputs on the bottom. It could be anything. I suppose they could also, they could be, well I don't know, separate mixes, headphone mixes, aux monitors, effects, sends, anything. That's impressive. And then on the top corner you have a dedicated headphone with separate control, uh, tape in, which is really nice. And then your mono and main outputs on XLRs with adjustable pads as well, so you can run this into a second mixer if you're plugging it into a house PA system. That is always a nice touch. Should we take a look around the back, guys? So around the back, we've got a thumping great big heatsink. Guessing that's for all the uh, switch mode electronics inside. That's fine. 
IEC socket, beautiful. Universal power input range as well, always nice to see. Big clunking power switch. Nothing beats a big clunking power switch. Moving across, you have MIDI in and out, which is always nice to see, especially on DIN connectors as well, not the stupid little plugs that really drive everyone nuts. Oh, that's nice as well. You've got the uh, 16 assignable outputs on the front, mirrored on the back on D-subs, so you could run that out into anything else, I suppose. I suppose you could run that out into a separate A to D and D to A converter if you wanted to. Handy for recording or broadcast purposes. And then below that, you've got the option card, which is the standard factory fitted one, which is a Firewire 800 and the Ethernet and SPDIF connections. But apart from that, that's all she wrote. Now this thing is rack mountable and it will be racked in a massive new flight case that I've got coming. Uh, so it's going to be safe and secure and going to be great for taking out on the road. Right, should we have a look what's in the other boxes now? Because we've got all those to go through. Right, guys, let's do this one next, I think. The 32 channel, super high quality, Class A 32 channel mic pre from Antelope Audio. Designed to work perfectly with the Orion 32 or 32 Plus. Brilliant. Or at least that's what they claim on their website. So let's see if those claims are true, shall we? Let's get out of the box. Right, I've undone all the tape. Let's see what's inside. Same nice packaging as on their converters, which is lovely to see because they are well packaged. What do you get? You get a owner's manual, printed, and a warranty card. Brilliant. Gotta love a printed manual. God, I hate all these companies these days that seem to insist on putting everything on a computer. So annoying. And a recommended connection sheet. Huh. That's pretty cool. It shows you the suggested wiring for how you could record and do bits with this. Which is rather tasty. Alright, let's have a look at what's underneath this foam top, shall we? Ooh, tasty. Right, what do we got in here? We have... The, oh, amazing! You get the link cables. Oh, they never said you get these. That saved me some money. Oh, that's impressive. You actually get the D-sub link cables already with it. Oh, that saves me a world of pain. Well, there's two. Obviously, you need four to get 32. Do you get... Oh, do you get four? Guys, you get four of them! Oh! It just makes you want to smile, that does, when you see things like that. When you see a company looking after its clients. Don't you just love it when they insist they want to... Even though they know it's shipping to the UK... They insist on putting a foreign blooming power supply in it. It does make you wonder sometimes. And you get the USB lead as well for controlling the unit. Oh, Antelope Audio, I could kiss you. Right guys, I've got it out of the box and packaging now. And I can say one thing. Boy, is it sexy. This thing is beautiful. Built like a brick dunny, and certainly going to survive some trips out, I'll tell you that for nothing. Obviously you've got your 32 combi inputs across the front, and I like the way the first four channels are actually instrument DIs as well. That is really handy. Plug electric or bass guitars straight into it. Amazing. It's quite hefty in weight, but I suppose that's a good sign. It means it's not built shoddily. 
And round the back, we have a universal power supply input on an IC connector, big logo, the USB connection for controlling all the pre's and everything, and then your four output cables, the subs rather, that those connect to. They link from those straight up to the converter which will sit directly above it. That is beautiful. Kudos to Antelope Audio for designing such a well-made unit, really. Nice, compact, well-made, robust. Not going to break any time soon. Well done. Right. Box number three, I think, is going to be the Sonic PCIe expansion chassis. Should we take a look at that next, guys? Right then, chaps. Box number three. The Sonnet Echo Express 3D. Let's get it out of the packaging, shall we? Let's see what we've got. Looks like you've got a box within a box. What have we got here? Ah, some packaging. Oh, there it is. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to take this out of the box on camera, off camera rather, because it's quite a bulky item. Back in a sec. Well, this is what you get in the box. You get a, again, a printed manual. Lovely. The included Thunderbolt cable with the Thunderbolt lock as well, which is a lovely feature. Again, a foreign blooming power lead. I've um, got shares in them bloody things now. But then, of course, you also have the actual unit itself. Got some blooming big fans on the top of it, I'll tell you that. I hope this thing ain't too noisy. And then round the back, just some blanking plates, because there's nothing installed at the moment. Another fan on the front. Your two Thunderbolt ports and a universal IEC power port. And round the front, just a logo and an LED. Pretty basic. Perfectly honest, you don't get that many features on the case or in the unit itself for the price, but I suppose needs must, eh? Needs must. Finally, guys, box number four. The SSL Maddie Extreme. 128 channels. Let's have a look inside. Nicely packaged there with a bit of foam you get. A blank piece of paper. It looks like the entire manual, yep that's right guys, the entire manual is printed on individual sheets of paper that aren't even fastened together. That is not very sensible. Hmm, I'm not very impressed with that. I thought they could have at least put it in a proper blooming book for crying out loud. I mean you pay enough for this damn unit. I thought they could get their installation guide properly sorted. Oh well. Then you get your Maddie Extreme card in an anti-static bag, which is good. I should hope it is for the price. This seal has been damaged. Huh. It's a bit odd. 
taped shut. Well, at least it is taped, it's not just sat there. Well, and that's all you get. You don't get much in that really for the price, do you? But hey ho, I suppose. She's SSL, you pay what you get for. I won't be unboxing that video, doing that unboxing either, because uh, there's already a video on my channel. Link will be down in the description on an unboxing of the Orion 32 converter. If you want to check that out, please do. But yeah, guys, this is um, about it for now. Um, this was just an unboxing video. Um, There'll be another video coming up shortly about um, how I start putting all this lot together so it all works. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. And obviously subscribe to the channel for more. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care you lot. Peace out.